Two. Yes, indeed. And we're backstage at the Rex Theater. I think this is our first time with uh, old friends of ours. Mushroom Head, Jeffrey Nothing's been on before. Yeah, how you doing, man? And this is the new man, Waylon. How you doing? Good, good, man. Uh, how are you fitting in with the band? How's it going? Um, I heard they picked you up uh, by seeing you open for a band that opened for Mushroom Head. Yeah, well, uh, we went on tour. My other band, Three Quarters Dead, went on tour with Mushroom Head and... Uh, we had recorded our CD with Mushroom Head, and everything big I've done has been with Mushroom Head. So they just gave me a call one day, said, "Hey, uh, Jay left. You want to sing?" And I was like, "Sure." Oh. And it was just no tryout, no anything. They knew exactly who they wanted. Yeah, and you fit right in. How long did it take you to come up with a persona to kind of? Uh, we. Mesh in? I, it took us about a month to come up with it. We were when I first got up, it was like, "We got to figure what we're going to do with you." And uh, they. Uh, they looked at me, we watched some movies, and we just finally came up with this after watching The Sale a few times. Yeah, yeah, so I read that you got that from that point. That's yes. Cool. You also have a new DVD uh, coming out. Uh, this is uh, entitled Volume 1. It's yeah. kind of like the first segment of Mushroom Head. You are beginning a new, a new legacy right now in transition, if I'm not overstating it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, volume 1 is the Double uh, X and 13 tours where we'll probably someday down the road show some early days of Mushroom Head on a DVD, but we just want to get the energy of the tours out there. And know. you really feel it. I watched it the other night, and it's phenomenal. It's great, and there's a lot of fun stuff behind the scenes yeah. that you wouldn't expect. Um, it, it was just a lot of fun. It was our lives for those couple of years, and I uh, hope it really shows it. We want to do like a documentary style, and here they are going here or whatever, just show us having fun and doing our life. Yeah, you really turned the crowds on, too. I mean, uh, is that what really has been the driving force of Mushroom Head? I mean, you know, it's uh, it's been a, been a hell of a career for you guys so far. Yeah, the fans are the are the thing. It's like uh, you can go on a studio and record a record or do a video, but until you get the energy of the, the crowd in front of you on stage, it's, nothing's like it. Yeah, cool. I mean, uh, you know, you guys, uh, you're doing your, all your recording in Cleveland and whatnot now. Are you getting ready to go into the studio this uh, fall, if I'm not mistaken? We're in pre-production. We're... Uh, about 18 ideas and five or six that are pretty far along and uh we're doing a little more demoing out here on tour and then we're gonna go back home and do the record the rest of the way that's where you do a lot of the demoing because you i mean your music's so involved i mean i, I could imagine to, to, before you even bring waylon in yeah. to what it you know the work that's got to go into it, it's just un, unbelievable now you have a tour uh you're recording in uh, on the bus or you uh, yeah we brought out the small pro tools rig and we're uh just like I said, doing demos out here because we don't have all the effects that we have at home. And uh, mm -hmm. done in our own studio. We do the uh, real pre-production. We're going to go into Mars and finish up there do the rest of the Will this be uh, your, your first Filthy Hands uh, independent release? Or are you going to um, work with another? talking to a couple of people. Nothing's definite yet. Right now it's us on Filthy Hands through Lumberjack till further notice, really. Okay, cool. I thought I could try and get it out of you. Now yeah. you... Uh, you uh, have a producer, you guys are just going to self-produce it? It's pretty much skinny. Um, everybody brings in a little bit, but it's mostly where he takes the songs as they are presented to him in full. A lot of times we write just like four of us at a time or just a couple of us. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's th right now it's skinny. I mean, maybe we'll have somebody coming for a song or something and yeah. something like that, but I'd say do most of the record. Cool. And Waylon, how do you how do you think you'll fit in on this? I mean, you uh, is it going to be a whole where you have to kind of sit back and look from a perspective of how this is done? Because these guys have been doing it for so long a certain way. I mean, but you, you've worked with them before, yeah. as you said. But uh, is it you're going to have to? What, what kind of approach will you take as as opposed to last time? I really kind of sit back and and I realize how much more experience uh, Mushroom Head has over me. You know, I come from a local band straight to a. A bigger band, and and these guys have been doing it for eleven, twelve years now, yeah. and I'd sit back and, I, and you know I play the student, I I, I learn, I, I see and I ask questions and I ask why, um, you know why are you doing this, why are you adding this part here, why are we doing this, yeah. and uh, and uh, then I throw in my ideas and Skinny molds molds them around and he uh, he really pulls the best out of me. He uh, he can get me to do things I didn't realize I could do. You know, that's a sign of a great producer. It can pull out what's inside of you. you know? He does also just late night, you know, be sitting there, and he's like, well, why don't you try it like this right here? Or uh, or he'll take it and it's like, well, let's, let's drop these couple words and add this. And mm -hmm. it, everything is just, you know, sit back and learn. You've know? you been doing this on the on the back of the bus or for, for now? Or? Uh, well, we haven't really done anything yet because it's just the first week of the tour, you know. Oh, really? I'm yeah. sorry. 
um, we, we, yeah, we, we're getting everything set up in the back right now. I got us some blank CDs, and I'm listening to that when I'm going to bed and, and mm -hmm. trying to come up with some some visions in my head of what I think the music should sound like with a vocal part. And uh, it's just, you know, sit back and, 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 and see what happens because there's so many members. It, the song can change so many times before it's, mm -hmm. you know, it becomes what it's going to be in the end. I mean, but oh yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes you get it done, and you're like, less is more, and you, you realize I got to take this out or take that out. And I'm sure Skinny's the man when it comes to that. Yeah, no. we have songs change four or five times lyrically before they're finished, and it'll probably even grow with Pro Tools being able to do track after track. Mm -hmm. But uh. And how often is the Pro Tools systems updated? I mean, uh, you know, I can well, imagine from like just about a seven thousand dollar update that changes all the time. It's just like a computer you're always upgrading. Yeah, it just keeps it's a constant thing. Yeah. All right, well, I'd like to thank you guys for coming on the show. Thanks. Man. And uh, wish you the best of luck. And I can't wait to hear the new CD. I've been digging Mushroom Head 13's the one that's kicking. And then the new DVD, man. This is an intimate look at the band, and uh, if you're a fan, it's something you really need to check out, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. So if you hear me coming down the street, you know it's me with the Mushroom Head cranking loud. Right now, here's a Mushroom Head video on Rock Circus. Cool. I got to get you the guys to do show ID, and then I'll be done. We'll be out um, your hair. I was saying something about you wanted to watch a part of makeup, but... Oh, I, it did, no, it didn't matter. I mean... Oh, that's cool. I'm just saying if you want to, I'll, I'll get started in a little while. Yeah, so yeah, so the process at all. Oh. We came here to crash your interview. We're Sons late. Of ah. Wait, we brought weed. Oh, and everything. get the cameras back. Oh, uh, get, get them back out. Back home. Wait, then we gotta walk back in. Yeah, walk okay. back in. Walk back <laughs> in like we were. Sit where you were. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Where's my props? I don't want to look out of place. Make sure you ask them a question, and we can just bargain. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that's the fun part about being on tour. Yeah. Especially with Dope. They're just, they're awesome. Well, we, I was waiting on them because they said they were going to do it. And they're like, don't tell them. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm trying to keep it going. So, that's about the troops. Part. Yeah, well, how about how the troops growing for you? Uh, oh, what the fuck? God, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, the rest of the band just came in. Yeah. Well, I brought it again. <laughs> They bring gifts. Here you go. You. Thanks. All right. I get bread. Stuff back. Here. There. Here. I love bread. For you. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Jeffrey, would you like a banana? I think I'm going to light myself on fire. <laughs> you might have problems with it. Hello? Hey, who wants to suck it? <laughs> mm, I'm trying to chew bread. Here. Here, there you go. Thanks. Let me have this. Yeah. Take over. I'm eating bread. Jeffrey, nothing. Yeah. Hat. Here, put this. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's all over me. There's some banana. Banana oh, help. Hey, banana sandwich. Banana help. Give me that. Ah, Here, somebody talk. talk. That's good. Here, tell us about your new album, Jeffrey. It's a new album. <laughs> Wait, it's a DVD. <laughs> True, they don't really make vinyl much anymore. Have you even released on vinyl, haven't you? Um, yeah, put some orange on that sandwich. Yeah, just the, uh, we had a uh, different colored 12-inch um, vinyls of the remix. Yeah, we did do that. Now that I remember. I had the original, the uh, the one, the, the 20, before you had the uh, Universal where you released it. And I had it in a case, someone, but I didn't, I had it in my car, but it, but the CD was in a, a, a CD holder. How about your 12-inch? <laughs> and someone well, stole the damn case, case and then uh, yeah, Skinny told me that that was a, a rare to have that cover. Says. Well, he oh, said uh, it was rare to have that cover because it was a Cleveland cover. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh. Uh -oh. Wait, mushroom head guy. They've really fed on. me well today. I've never been fed so well at a show. <laughs> you can't see this at all. This thing don't go on. Who's is this one? Probably Marcos. Yeah, fuck it. <coughs> oh, yeah, this feels great. Oh, Excellent. That's a good look I like for mine you. better. This shit hurts. Evil, <laughs> dude. With your dreads coming out, yeah. Bernie, that's Smoke up, Johnny. Hair. Where's the mustache? Mm -hmm. Right on. Don't <laughs> get the mustache. Johnny, so you want to hold that? Uh, what? Well, Edsel, would you please uh. hold that? Oh, it stinks. Man. Why does it stink so bad in here? What did I do? Yeah, it's a coat. It's <laughs> Jeffrey's coat. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>
Aaron, you take that. <laughs> it really does stink in here. Oh, it smells like it, it smells like monkey balls or something. Monkey balls. Uh oh. No, oh. Oh yeah. Oh, you know I forgot. Would you sign my CD? Hell no. Oh, you sign it. You. I don't know how you guys do this shit. I can't take it. I'm done. How You're you done. All night. I can't. It's so That's hard so to drink through this. I fucking think thing. if you see the <laughs> TV, if you watch them drain their masks <laughs> out after the fucking show. So it's brutal. Like, how does it feel after? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I'll just.